Today I did work on a Toyota Tacoma, a, an off-road pickup truck, Pro version 2023 model, a Tacoma, 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 I have no idea. Um, so I'll show you how I install the antenna and the fender bracket. It's a coaxial cable kit. Uh, sometimes I use some sealant. Sometimes um, you have to make sure the surface right here is perfectly flat because this old ring here, if it gets damaged or if it's a gap, it will allow the water to ingress and it will cause corrosion, especially at the central pin here, which is spring loaded. And if it's a poor connection, uh, water, then with the RF energy, it is going to cause fast cor uh, corrosion and it will destroy the spring inside, which is uh, also conductive spring and um, the coil inside, the solder inside. So you have to replace the whole coil. Um, so if everything is nice and flat and smooth, this can last. Uh, five years, ten years, depends uh, how you maintain it and uh, there is no gap here I'm going to open the hood Let's see if I can do that on the dark uh, you see the two the two screws uh, I've used this, the same type of black, uh, black uh, flexible sealant I've used to seal the holes and I put some sealant before I put the, the screw, so I, I pre-drilled the holes into the fender. Uh, and I put some sealant, then I put the screws back. Uh, and it's going to create a tight connection, uh, a sealed connection. And that will prevent the rust to dig into the metal that now lost the paint while I'm, I, dry, uh, I uh, drilled this one, these two screws. And also I applied a layer of the same sealant behind the bracket. Uh, many times I use a rubber tape to form some sort of a cushioning layer. And it, it's making this bonding, the metal bonding, very solid. Then I run the coaxial cable down here, then to here. It doesn't really matter, you are smart enough to run it to prevent the water to sneak in. And then I went all the way to that firewall grommet. And how I did here, I pulled this around the edges, I pulled it out and I turned it, like I twisted a bit, actually this way. I and underneath there is a nipple, uh, like a little rubber pipe, which is part of the grommet assembly. And I trimmed the tip of that with a little ply, uh, this nipping tool. Um, then I use a fishing rod, usually it's an antenna, uh, uh, antenna whip I use as a fishing rod. Uh, but I don't go beside this cables because in this car uh, lots of cables are very thin and are signal cables that go to different uh, things at the front including the headlights and stuff and uh, so I use that stuff which is away from the from the harness itself and um, I use uh, a fishing rod like uh, like I said uh, an antenna whip I poked a hole all the way to the other side uh, and this, you need to kind of uh, fish it around the fuse box and some harnesses so you don't want your antenna cable to go between some cables and uh, you make it nice you go around the, you go around the harnesses and wiring and uh, how I fished it's I used a, a little wire, a flexible wire, attached to my fishing rod. So I I pull the wire and I use the wire to attach it to my coaxial cable. In this case, this 
cable has uh, cable kit has an FME adapter connector and so I I wrapped it I, I put some tape some electrical tape around to make the uh, bonding uh, of the knot it's kind of a knot but it's nice and smooth it's not big and bulky and I apply a little bit of grease uh, sometimes I use a, a little WD-40 to put on the wire and it makes it very smooth fishing through the uh, the grommet it's, this is very good rubber quality it's it's soft it's not like uh, American cars use of more of a plastic plastic type of uh, compound plastic with rubber compound which is harder and if it's cold outside it's even harder to fish a wire through that but with the Toyota this is a good quality rubber and so once I fish the uh, coaxial cable I pull the length I need I left a uh, dripping hole a dripping loop at the bottom then I twisted this one back I pushed it back into the firewall it has kind of a uh, groove something and I pushed it all right all the way around and it's like the original you won't even see where the cable goes in and this is after everything is tight and uh, so the cable is not getting pinched here like in many cases people uh, don't care about the coaxial cable and with the vibration of the two assemblies the hood and the fender and the expansion during the summer hot days and stuff like that it's going to pinch into the insulation it's biting it and it'll destroy it it'll cause the water to sneak in and cause the corrosion there so then I'll go inside by the way the radio is on the side here that's the way the customer asked I, I thought to install it somewhere else. I thought to install it there, but um, there is a wireless charger, I guess. Sometimes I install it uh, underneath there, but in this case they want it here. So I followed what they asked for. And um, so in order to work here, on the other side, inside of the, the driver uh, area, um, I had to remove this frame let me see if I can make some light okay light light you remove that nut the plastic nut by rotating like a like a nut uh, but when you push it uh, put it back you don't need to rotate you just push it and it will go nicely in and then you pull this panel but first before you do that you need to use uh, to you can use your fingers for a pulling tool and you pull this one little by little and this trim will come out it's covering just some uh, harness cable channels and um, once it's clear here you can pull this one don't push don't pull this way because it's going to pop out this connect plastic uh, connector thing is so you pull this way towards you and it will come out nicely and uh, it exposes this area which is easier for you to work and uh, hide your cables and I built a harness like you see a piece of the harness over there uh, inside the harness is a coaxial cable and a power cable for the radio and it goes behind this console the central console it goes on the other side yeah it's dark and my phone does not focus all the way to the radio let me see if I can you won't see the cable because it's it's hidden behind this uh, these panels what I'm doing here what I'm doing here okay so it's coming from behind goes underneath and reaches the radio and the radio is connected to the accessory and while the engine is on accessory mode or on the um, on the engine running you get power so the radio comes on 
that it goes off once I turn this on off and um, I did uh, run the harness somewhere where you don't see much of it it's above everything else and there is another harness that ends up to a relay box it doesn't really matter but I followed that one I attached to it and uh, then I went down all the way to the other side behind the uh, this middle console and the fuse is the third fuse is it says on the box it says, let me see if I can focus, okay, um, it says uh, power outlet number one. So what I did, I took this uh, cover, the fuse cover, and I cut a hole, I trimmed the hole using my solder iron tip. I cut a squared hole right in the area where the... Uh, the fuse goes and I've used a fuse adapter I used a label on the so this is a fuse adapter with the original fuse and the radio fuse together and you have to watch the correct polarity so first what I do I remove the bottom fuse the original fuse I see the one in the in the middle the, the one at the bottom not the bottom of my or of your screen but uh, towards the fuse panel uh, so I, re I removed that one well, let me see if I can use my finger maybe I cannot it's very tight here anyway so um, so I use only the radio fuse in the circuit and I check if the radio turns on and off that means it's the correct polarity if not I, I turn this one the other way and I check again, but of course, before I use the circuit, I use a voltmeter to check uh, if the power is switched to the um, to that fuse or not. So in this case, I just showed you that's the fuse I use for the power outlet, uh, which is 15 amps, and it will uh, not blow when they use the radio. I tested already, unless they really use uh, something that has I cut and draw um, on the power outlet and they will blow the fuse uh, while broadcasting at the same time and they will blow the fuse so that's the only trouble with this type of circuit but I never had a complaint I used to install the radios with a relay that was a long time ago like uh, maybe 17 19 years ago and it's a good idea to use a relay but, but, if you don't have to, anyways, so, subscribe if you want to see more videos, what, I just said subscribe, that means uh, I'm asking for subscribers, no, 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 and if you did, that means you're a blind follower, you just follow what people tell you, don't do that, don't do that, bye-bye.